It's important that before class and during class you have a checklist either in your mind or physically with you in order for you to follow. This just makes everything easier and the flow of the classroom run more smoothly. Make sure that you have a labeled box to organize transport and store your resources as well as extra time for you to take out and organize the manipulatives before the lesson begins. Make sure that in addition to your verbal description, have written description of the steps you need to follow for each activity you're doing with the class. And establish, most importantly, the way in which you'd like to have your students' attention. This is usually the routine you followed all along. During class, take into consideration the size of groups. So, prior to this, determine the size of student groups necessary for the activity. Know how to quickly divide the students up into groups. Whether you want to count out numbers 1 through 4 throughout the class and then say all group 1 students or all number 1 students get to the left side of the classroom, group 2, group 3, and group 4, or if you have another strategy in order to employ, do that. Just make sure you know what you're doing beforehand. Make sure you've carefully organized the materials for each group, as well as writing the activity clearly on the board ahead of time. Have the students Play with the manipulatives for about three to five minutes before the actual activity commences. Give an overview of the task and especially indicate the rules. With math especially, there are a lot of manipulatives that involve small pieces such as elastic bands or the cubes or little algebra tiles that can number one go missing but most importantly be used in an irresponsible way and students can either throw them at each other or hopefully not, but swallow the pieces. Either way, make sure that you describe the rules and follow up if students should misbehave. Issue proper time limits and make sure that the students know what the time limit for the class is to get the activity done. Give the students reminders throughout the class and circulate the first five minutes in order to see if the students are understanding what needs to be done. Finally, Collect materials and worksheets at the end of class and make sure you allow yourself enough time to do so. Take into account the time it needs for consolidation as well, so leave about 5-10 to 10 minutes before the end of class. If every one of your lessons follows this simplistic standard form using the checklist, I promise you the flow of your lesson will go and run much more smoothly.